Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to the garden. And in our video today, we're going to look at how we can make our own compost. So what is composting? Well, it's the breaking down of organic materials by microorganisms in the soil and with the aid of oxygen to create a soil amendment that we can then spread around the garden to help give nutrients back to the plants. It's a completely natural process. I'm currently beside my compost heap and as you can see it's quite a large compost heap but you don't need a compost heap this big to be able to create your own compost but much of the garden waste and household waste that we can recycle finds itself in this part of the garden and you can buy your own compost bin from a garden centre and the principles of creating compost are the same whether it's a large compost heap or a small compost heap. So what materials can we compost in the garden? Well, in terms of carbon or brown materials, we can compost cardboard, paper, hay or straw. Then in terms of nitrogen or green materials, we can compost grass clippings, green leaves, fresh leaves from the garden, such as weeds and animal manure, such as poultry manure, horse or cow manure. But I would suggest that you do not compost dog or cat feces as they can be toxic in the compost heap. When placing your materials in the compost heap, Think about it as if you're creating a lasagna, therefore layer upon layer of carbon and nitrogen and then mixing that together because that will speed up the composting process. When creating our compost pile, it's important that we have the correct ratio of carbon to nitrogen. Now the optimum ratio is 30 to 1, so 30 bits of carbon for each bit of nitrogen. However, as a gardener, I must admit I find it difficult to obtain this ratio because in general you get a lot of nitrogen or green material from the garden other than carbon. So what I tend to do is have a ratio of at least four to one. So four parts carbon to one part nitrogen. And if there's more carbon at a given time of year, then that's great, add it to the compost because it will speed up the composting process. However, ensure that you do not go below that. So try not to um, have less than four to one carbon to nitrogen. As a gardener, I'm always keen to try out new techniques in the garden and one of the things I'm doing this year is adding biochar to the compost heap because biochar is a pure form of carbon and it helps the composting process. It also locks in harmful gases from being emitted such as methane and nitrogen oxide and this then helps us protect our environment. When using biochar on the compost heap, first we need to inoculate it. Therefore, we need to mix it with something of a high nitrogen content. I'm using chicken manure, for example, but you can use what you've got to hand. And that then will kickstart the process, allowing the biochar to create microorganisms within the compost heap, this speeding up the composting process. I'm really excited to be trialling biochar in the garden this year because research shows that it can really improve soil structure in terms of drainage and the microorganisms in the soil that it helps then with plant growth, their resilience to diseases. But in terms of our garden as well, the soil is quite acidic and it does raise the pH of the soil. So I really can't wait to see what kind of impact it's going to have in the garden over the coming years. Well, I finished my work on the compost heap for today, but I just wanted to share a few quick tips with you in terms of how you can look after your compost heap over the next few months. If you find that your compost heap becomes a bit too dry, add water to it. But if it becomes a bit too moist and wet, then add some more paper or cardboard just to dry it out to maintain a constant level of moisture in the compost heap. As well, it's also a good idea to cut leaves and any material up as finely as possible because that will speed up the composting process. Well, we've come to the end of the Growing the Futures Often series of videos. I hope that the videos that I've shared with you over the past few weeks have given you some ideas and inspiration on what you can do in your gardens. Remember, all the videos will be available on Growing the Futures Facebook, YouTube and Twitter pages for you to watch again. And if you've got any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them underneath the videos. Autumn's a fantastic time to get out and enjoy the gardens and I hope that you get an opportunity to do so as well. Hoil Vaur.